Hey developers, today we are gonna look at eight different resources that I think are some of the best for Vue that you guys should know about. So these resources that I use all the time and the ones that I recommend. So make sure you stay all the way to the end and you can learn all about them. Hey, and as always, my name's Eric. I'm a full stack software developer. I'm also the author of the Vue.js in action book. And I just wanna give a quick shout out. I'm actually working on a course right now. It's called the Vue 360 course. It's a really uh, immersive course that have a lot of information on Vue on it, including Vue 3. So I'm gonna be releasing this soon for pre-order and more. So if you're interested, make sure you put your email in the email address. I have a link in the description below. It's viewcourse.tech. And I'll send you a free cheat sheet too. It has a bunch of information on there for Vue. So make sure you put your email address in viewcourse.tech and you can learn all about it. So let's begin. So of course, this is the first of the eight resources and you guys all know this. This is the official Vue.js guides. I always talk about this as being probably one of the best guides and best documentation sites for any of any of the JavaScript frameworks out there. And the reason I really like this one is because it just has so much information. Of course, if you get go to the get started guide, it has everything that you need to get started as the name implies, like uh, you know the view instance, the template syntax, conditional rendering, like all the different directives. It even goes into components, transitions and animations, reusability, tooling, scaling up, internals. And what's really nice is that it doesn't end there. And by the way, they don't have three X in here, but I'm, s I'm sure that's coming very soon for view three. If you click on learn, they even have the API, they have the style guide, which is nice. So you can actually install like a linter that would help you with this, but it has some strongly recommended things for different things that you need to have, um, how to basically create a view app and how you should put it together. It also has examples, which is always really nice to have some, some more examples like grid components, SVGs, wrapper components all that stuff you would expect it to have. It has a cookbook, uh, which I have kind of looked through some of this. Uh, it's pretty nice. It has like Axios, you could definitely be using Axios a lot, client-side storage, even dockerizing your Vue.js app, which is really cool. And then it has some recommendations, some uh, video courses, which we'll talk about in a little bit. And what's nice is in the ecosystem part, every single app that's in the Vue.js, not app, but I don't know, library tooling with, with, with that's inside the Vue.js ecosystem has its own documentation site. So the Vue CLI has a documentation site, as you can see here. You also have uh, the loader, Vue router, Vue X. So if you're looking for more information, you're trying to do some stuff with the routing, look at the documentation for the Vue router. It's right here. So and then it just brings it up. Uh, Vue X, of course, as well. And one other thing is that if you don't find the documentation inside here, and you're having troubles locating it, you can obviously search for it. But some things you may not find, like let's say you're using RxJS and some like ViewRx, and you can't find it inside the official guides, look at the GitHub. The, all the GitHubs have pretty good readmes, and that'll have a lot of information on what you need to do to get started. So like if you're using ViewRx, which is like RxJS for Vue, then look at the GitHub. It has great uh, documentation in there. So as always, wanna point that out. The next resource I wanna talk about, I'm gonna close this, is the Vue.js news site. So this is being ran by the official Vue.js people. They have tons of great information on, on every, I, th I think it's weekly, uh, that they have new information on articles that have come out, YouTube videos, and kind of just what's happening in the Vue community. Like for example, Chris Fritz just recently stepped down as a core contributor. He's now kind of a core alumni. So it had his announcement in here. Um, and it also talked about some new updates to Vue test utils. Like for example, um, some people stepped down and Vue's test utils and now they have four new maintainers, which is awesome. And of course it has information about ViewComp. So I always like looking through here to see what's happening in the Vue community and what, uh, you know, like this talks about Vue Vixens Day, but then also like, what are people using? Like this is support for Vue.js 3 ESLint plugin. And uh, new, oh, this one I just did the other day, this Nux.js UI component libraries. And even has little tags if it's beginner or, or not. So, you know, definitely a great resource. Definitely I would 
keep uh, an eye out on. Another good resource is View Mastery. So View Mastery has tons of information on video courses. Basically, it's a paid course platform. You can get, um, you can actually get 20% off using discount codes, but it's really well done. I've talked to these guys before, um, Greg and and Ben, several times. They do a great job at teaching Vue, and I uh, highly recommend it. You can also get their uh, Vue cheat sheet from them. So Vue Mastery. They also do a lot of stuff in the Vue community. They are at a lot of different conferences. They record a lot. It's uh, they record the conferences. I believe they have some. They actually teach workshops. They actually do in. They actually train inside your own corporation. So if you have a company and you're looking for somebody to come to your place of business and do view training, they do that as well. Uh, but not to say that's not the only one that that does view training or, and view teaching online on a paid platform. Uh, another great one's View School. I've uh, I've watch I've actually was a subscriber to this for a while it has some really great stuff on Next.js fundamentals testing view really well done um, great great information uh, you can see here they have tons of different courses uh, we just looked they even have a few free ones so another great resource you can use especially if you don't mind spending a few bucks or you can look at some of their free content and this is a new one. It's View Screencasts by my buddy Jeffrey Biles. And he has a ton of great information on Vue. Uh, he is just killing it, bringing out a lot of information on Vue. It's, uh, he has a pro course. He also has some free stuff on his YouTube channel. So I would highly recommend it. And by the way, the links for all these will be in the description below if you would like to take a look at it. Uh, one more um, kind of newsletter type website is Vue.js developers. They have a lot of great information. Um, sometimes a lot of things that aren't in the, the official news, view news is actually in this and then vice versa. So I think I, I like to subscribe to both. So this is a um, Vue.js developers as a website, but they actually have a newsletter. Um, they have topics too and posts. So the newsletter part, oops, let me close this. Um, you can sign up for it right here has just tons of great information on the latest happenings in Vue, new blogs that are coming out, new things that are happening. So I'd highly recommend signing up for the newsletter. This is a cool website I just actually happened to see on, on either, I think it was on Vue.js News. It's a Vue watch. And if you've been in other communities, I believe there's an Ember watch too. It might be a React watch, but it just kind of lists different utilities and frameworks and libraries that you can use with Vue. And it even has these little pills on the left-hand side. So if you're just looking for, I don't know, filters, it would show you, here's a Vue 2, uh, Vue 2 filters, Vue morphing. Um, so it's kind of neat. You can just really quickly see what kind of tools you need. And I think when you start building more complicated Vue apps, you want to reach for one of these. You know, for example, doing like validation, I think would be a pretty common one that you would want to use and and it even ranks them i'm not sure how it ranks them i don't know if it's by github stars or how many people download it but like v validate validate like these are really common validation libraries for view and it probably gives you some ideas too if you find a category that doesn't have much many plugins or utilities maybe that's something you'd want to create a plugin for maybe you want to to jump in and and these are all open source projects and help contribute but I've, I've found it very helpful and I actually been willing and wanting to go through some of these and do some reviews. So look forward in the, in the future, I'm gonna try to try some of these plugins and utilities, install them in a kind of fresh Vue.js install and see how they work. I've done Bootstrap Vue, by the way, that's on the top. Uh, one thing, let's talk about podcasts. So Views on Vue is a, a really, popular view podcast. It's probably the first one that was out there that deep dived and talked to view experts. I was on here for a, quite a while and then uh, I quit it, but it's still a great podcast. I would highly recommend it. It's, uh, it's run devchat.tv. They actually have a host of different podcasts and this is one of them. Um, it's interview style. So every, they have a weekly schedule. They interview a different person every week. It's all a lot of view experts. A lot of people, not even view experts, sometimes just people in the community that are doing neat stuff. 
and they sit down and talk to them. So I would highly recommend that. And this is a bonus one. This is actually number nine, but this is Enjoy the View. This is a brand new podcast by Chris Fritz, Ben Hong, Ari Clark, Elizabeth Fine. I listened to the first episode. It's great. They talk a lot about View. Um, they kind of set it up. They're going to be more of an interview show, but they're also going to do kind of one-off episodes every now and then where they just talk about something that's happening in the view community or maybe they'll teach things so yeah check that out as well and uh, i will say too that i have been thinking very 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 hard about creating my own view podcast so i am looking um, i've been talking to a few friends so i will there may be one more view podcast in the in the podcasts for view community and i think that's great because i think that gives everybody a different option if you like to listen to me you probably want to check out my podcast but be more you'll hear about more about that in the next months and uh, months to follow weeks and months to follow cool so those are my eight resources the official guides the news Vue.js news view mastery view school view screencasts Vue.js developers newsletter view watch views and view and then our special ninth the enjoyed the view if, I would love to hear what you guys use every day for a view. If there's any resources that you like to to use, uh, leave a comment. And uh, I'll allow links to leave a link in the description below. And, and if you like this episode and you've listened all the way to the end, make sure you smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm. You know, I think I should find something clever to say because everybody has something else, something, something different to say. Like press that button, uh, click that button. I don't know. Just make sure you click that like button and share this with, with anybody that's interested in view. Thanks, everybody. Thanks.